Hi there, Ricky Cool here with another harmonica practice tips video and in this one I'm going to give you some tips and ideas for how you might uh, practice and use the minor pentatonic scale when you're playing in third position um, on a Richter tune diatonic. I'm going to be using a harmonica in A um, and it'd be good for you to have one with you as well because um, I'll do a little bit of my turn, your turn at the end of the video. Um, so, playing in third position is, uh, is great when you're playing a blues which has got a sort of a minorish feel. Or if you want to play with a minorish sort of feel against a, um, an accompaniment which is major, which is uh, done quite a lot by blues players, particularly when they're playing um, third position chromatic. But we're going to be on the, we're concentrating on the diatonic. Um, in third position, the um, minor pentatonic scale starts on one whole draw. That gives you the root note of the scale. Um, this chart, by the way, will be up at the end of the video um, and you can take a screenshot if you, if you wish to. Um, hopefully you can see it all right now. So I've actually got three registers in which I can play the minor pentatonic scale. The lower octave, the middle octave, and the upper octave. So three, a three octave range for the scale, which is great. You're going to need to be able to bend two notes accurately to be able to do this in the lower register because you have to hit the two hole full step bend and the three hole full step bend, two hole draw and three hole draw full step bend. Okay, so. In the lower register, starting on the one hole draw, then to two draw full step bend. Then I'm going to go to three blow. I could use two draw. And for certain phrases and little licks, the two draw might be the preferred note. But just to go up, and up the scale, I'm going to use the three blow because it's going to be the same pattern of blow and draw notes um, as I use in the middle register and in the upper register. So, three draw full step bend comes next. And then four blow and then four draw, which is an octave above the one draw. So. So the way I played it there, it was draw, draw, blow, draw, blow, draw. Okay, middle register starting on the four hole. Goes to the five. Both of those are draw notes. Six blow. Six draw. Seven blow. Eight draw. So you see again, it's draw, draw, blow, draw, blow, draw. In the upper register, starting on the eight draw, going to the nine draw, nine blow, ten draw, ten blow. I can't get the octave note, but I can get the five different notes of the minor pentatonic scale. And that was draw, draw, blow, draw, blow. If I wanted to incorporate the one blow, um, it is a it is a, a a note from the minor pentatonic scale, so it's nice to use it. OK, so it's quite nice to have a backing track to practice with. And um, this is a good one. This is uh, a backing track of B.B. King's uh, classic song, The Thrill Is Gone. The great thing about the minor pentatonic scale is it will work against uh, the one chord, the four chord and the five chord in a, in a 12 bar blues. So let's just practice the scale a little bit against the backing track. I'll give you a link to the backing track in the description.
you continue practicing like that until you're getting really f familiar with the layout of the um, scale in each different register. Um, what I would do then is move on to practicing a few little licks and phrases and trying them out in the different register, in, in the different octaves, sorry, of the um, minor pentatonic scale. So let's take a, a nice a simple one, starting from the root note of the scale. <laughs> One draw, two draw full step, back to one draw, one blow, and then back to one draw. And then in the middle register, and in the upper register, and try to use your ear to hear whether you're playing the right note. So I've given it you in the lower register. Just use your ear for the middle register and the upper register to see if you can pick out that riff. Okay, with the backing track. Those octaves in the upper register uh, uh, get often get neglected by um, players and they're really really useful. You just got to get used to the fact that in the upper register of the harmonica when you're doing draw octaves you've got to block three holes and it does take a little bit of experimentation and, and practice to get used to your tongue position to enable you to do that. And as you're doing it, you're listening to both ends of the octave. And then when you find it, you've got to just keep on practicing until that becomes sort of automatic. And when you use the blow note, of course, you've got to adjust to just blocking two holes. Which means changing your tongue position. Um, let's, uh, let's come um, with another little riff now. Uh, I'm going to start from a different note in the scale. So we'll do something starting from the two draw full step bend. And... I'm going to give you an example where I would use the two draw with this rather than the three blow. That sounds better than when I'm using the three blow. It would be like this with the three blow. I can give it more attack and punch if I use the two draw. I can also, you know, bend the note down rather than going. So it gives, it just gives me more options. Um, in the middle register, in the upper register, and again, use your your ear to tell you whether you're playing the um, right lick. Okay, so I'll give it you in the lower register. Two draw, full step bend. Two draw, back to two draw, full step bend, which I might, I might bend into or I might hit separately. Back to one draw. And as I do it, you, you, you heard me sort of hit a wrong note. I'm using my ear all the time. And you really do need to do that. I can't overstress the importance of really training your ear. OK, let's, let's get the riff going. I can't. 
kind of varied it a little bit there as well. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with varying things. Uh, you know, it, it, there's not a great deal that can go wrong here, um, particularly if you're just sticking to the notes of the scale. So, having done that and practice different licks and ideas uh, let's finish off this little video with a little bit of um, my turn your turn so i'm just going to improvise over four bars and then i'll get you to improvise over four bars and so on so let's take it back to the beginning i'll start with the first four bars and then you come in and we'll pick it up from there i'll give you a cue You can just play up and down the scale if you want. Your turn coming up. tell you what I was doing there. I will just pause this. The six draw is a great note for bending uh, because you can really make it wail. And I'm going from the six draw to the five draw there. Instead of using just scale notes and going six draw, six blow, five draw. It's just a really good one to have in your armory. Okay, so uh, let's pick it up again. Your turn. useful. Um, my next video is going to be all about a great third position blues player, Junior Wells, and uh, this practice that you're doing now will really, really help you when it comes to that next video. So let's get back into this. Cheerio for now. This is Ricky Cool signing off. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would really be good if you could. Thumbs ups are always appreciated. Here we go.